All right, guys, we're gonna show you some liquid cooled Ant Miner S9s running from 16 to 19 tera hash. All right, guys, so here is the unit. It's currently only running at about 16 tera hash, I believe. Let me show you real quick. About 15.5 average. We're trying some new settings on it. There is a little bit of noise coming out of here, but that is from this other power supply that we are using, not from the actual fan. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual temperature of the oil that's inside of the unit. Look at that guys, 65, 66, staying cool around 65 degrees if not a little bit less. All right, even though it reads a higher temperature on the GUI interface, that is the sheer fact because we upgraded a 13 terahash unit to the 650 firmware. So it does not read the correct temperature. But you guys saw the temperature. Now let's go a little bit more into the unit and see what you guys can expect. I also want to show you guys the size of this unit. It's very, very small and compact. It'll be able to fit pretty much anywhere. We're still working on the actual noise factor. But let me show you guys again. We're now at an hour and 11 minutes. I will refresh it one more time. Hold on. Remember, do not worry about the temperature chips that it's showing on here. That's because of the firmware. Now we're running at about 5.9 amps. Let me show you guys the inside of this to show you that this is just a traditional amp miner with our specialized cooling method. All right, now let me show you the chip, sorry, the chip temperature. Look at that, 58 degrees, 55 degrees Celsius, 56 degrees, if not less. You hear how quiet it is, how cool it's staying. Even at almost 16 tera hash a second, guys. This is outright outstanding. All right, now let's show you the difference of the regular Ant Miner compared to the liquid cooled, overclocked, compact Ant Miner. All right, you guys know the traditional Ant Miner S9, 13.5 tera hash. You see what it's running at, 13.4, and it will change its average as soon as it gears up for a little bit. But I just wanted to show you guys the difference of the units of the sound and the speed. So this is the actual noise from the unit with the power supply off. You can hear the fan. I would say this is probably around 60 decibels if this was my guess, if not less. Well, there you go, guys. Now you saw it. We're working on perfecting this technology so you can use this on any new hardware that's coming out and your old hardware. So we're working on getting the old 13.5 terahash a second units up to a stable 18 terahash. Now, the process that we're using is a little bit different than the conventional method of what you've seen on YouTube because most of those things do not work but once again, you saw the numbers, you saw the Terra hash, and you saw the real deal. So once we have the technology perfected, we are gonna get this out to you as soon as possible so you can implement this on your units yourself. Digi out.